Hey y'all, Taker here, and today I have a very big anime figure haul. I have a lot of figures from a lot of series, some new and some pre-owned, and we'll be getting into a lot of unboxing today. And also to address this one, I do have right here Baltimore Race Queen Edition. And I did buy this one off of a provisional pre-order, uh, but we actually won't be unboxing this one today. Uh, and it's simply because she is amazing, but she does not match my current uh, figure setup. She's not, she, I just can't see her fitting in with my collection. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. First up, we have Petitris, also called Putiritsu, series of model kits, modeled after Fate Grand Order characters. We have Saber, aka Artoria, Mash, Gadao, otherwise known as the Master, Musashi, and Jalter. And now these figures do articulate, sort of like Nendo's. Uh, but they're not the same quality as Nendo's. Um, they are a little flimsy, and since they're just really, really light, um, being model kits and all, um, it is hard to make them stand up straight. But 
for $10 each, I was able to buy all five of these for the price of one Nendo. So I'm not complaining. The most difficult ones to put together were honestly Musashi and Saber. Uh, they, they just had a lot of pieces. Musashi being the worst with her having all of these different little sticker decals to put onto her, onto her clothes and her scabbards and pretty much there's a sticker decal on almost every inch of her body. And so I really had to use a really nice pair of tweezers to get everything on. But otherwise, I think they all came out very well. And the model kits were really simple, albeit the pieces were incredibly tiny. And I'm proud of my finger dexterity, but I was having the hardest time to kind of like put each piece together being as small as they were. I really do like that I finally have a Godal and a Mash in my collection as well. Um, just having them together is just fantastic. And I love having yet another Jolter in the collection to complement my Jolter by Alter. And finally, Saber is Saber. I, I really do like that this particular model kit allows for her to be shown in her third ascension form in the games, which has her crown and her cape and everything. But she's also able to have those taken off and then just present her as her Fate Stay Night version, her first ascension form. That's a very nice touch. Overall, I'm very satisfied with these model kits. Um, if you're able to find them at the bargain price I was able to find them, um, I highly recommend them. They're a really nice project to work on um, if you feel a bit crafty. And with that, let's get on to the other figures. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I have picked up yet another Hakusai figure to add to the Hakusai shrine. She is my Fate Grand Order waifu, after all. And this particular figure is manufactured by Furyu as a noodle stopper. Just kind of a perching figure that is incredibly low cost. Of course, because she is pretty much a prize figure, she doesn't have the most spectacular paint job, but it, she gets the job done. Uh, she is every bit as Hakusai as my first Ascension Hakusai that I have by a fat company and her Saber version by Good Smile Company. I just really want to get, I pretty much want to get a Hakusai of each of her Ascension stages. This form is how you get her originally without like leveling her up or anything. So I, <laughs> I really want to get every Hakusai there is. That is pretty much my goal. Um, but it's not like my, it's, it's a very far out goal. I'm more interested in buying unique figures. I try not to get too many of the same character because um, I'm not trying to build a shrine. A shrine is being built passively, is how I would describe it. But the details are really good. She really pairs very well with one of my puzzle boxes of my Van Gogh um, Hakusai Starry Night. So yeah, I, I'm i very glad with this purchase. It, it really didn't hurt my wallet, which is a major plus. I can't say the same for the rest of the figures on this haul, but yeah, I'm I'm just happy to have another Hakusai. Let's move on to the next one. Now here's a figure of a character who's a little less well known. We have the gate opener Alice, and she originates from the I mean I guess it's an anime Anna game, Queen's Blade which um, is a very cultured uh, franchise where the goal, or I guess the whole, um, the whole point of the series is that it's 
gladiator matches between um, scantily clad women who the goal of winning gladiator matches is to remove the, your, their opponent's clothing. Um, yeah, uh, a very interesting premise indeed. Uh, I personally have never watched a single episode of Queen's Blade. I maybe watched a couple clips out of context. Um, I, I, not really my type of show, to be honest. Um, but I really did like the figure um, of Alice. I thought that she looked really, really interesting. The little character overview I looked up is that the tail is actually, I guess, her key that unlocks her other form, which is like, she goes from a lolly to more like a dommy mommy. I think something, something along those lines. I, <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know anything about the character. I just thought the figure was cute. And hey, she was like, 30, 40 ish dollars on Amiami pre owned. So I I went ahead and got her. Now, I believe this figure came out in about 2010. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's an older figure. And it really does hold up in quality from what I can see. It is still a excellent 1 8 scale figure. That even when though she's one eighth, she kind of still looks like a similar size to a one seventh. Um, she definitely looks very similar in size, um, or at least proportion wise, to another figure that I got. I just really do like her aesthetic. the The tail, the color of the tail, just complements her accessories, her stockings. I really do like her gun daggers <laughs> I, I don't know um i don't know what they particularly are i'm assuming they are like pistol daggers or something like that her bat shaped hair ties look really nice it's just a really cute lolly figure and now this one is a little um not safe for work she is cast off, so you can take off her clothes. Um, I guess it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Queen's Blade character without the ability to take the clothes off of your figures. Um, but yet again, like in the last video with uh, Melusine and Abigail, uh, this channel does not cover <laughs> undressing our figures, so the clothes are going to stay on. Um, and surprisingly, that will not be the last figure in this haul where the clothes do come off. And with that, let's get on to the last figure of this, uh, Ami Ami haul. Now, our final figure in this review is going to be a character I honestly didn't know that she was getting a re-release. It... It went completely under my radar. If my friends didn't let me know that this figure was getting re-released, I wouldn't have this today. Um, but here we have Rory Mercury by Q's Q. And uh, it's such a fantastic figure. Q's Q always does just a fantastic job when they make their figures. They do a really good job with the shading and they do a really good job on the hair sculpt. And Rory is no exception. She just looks straight out of Gate. Gate was one of my first mangas I really, really got into. And I really did love the anime. Reverse Isekais are just my jam. So um, Rory Mercury has a very special place in my heart. And finally getting her at a price that isn't astronomical. Because I know getting Rory Mercury figures in the aftermarket is pretty devastating to your wallet. I feel very lucky to have jumped onto the uh, pre-order uh, window before 
uh, it closed. You can see the detail for yourself from her leggings to her dress to her hair to her bow. They are all expertly painted. I honestly, I honestly don't see any flaws with this figure, to be honest with you. The axe, the halberd, is just amazing as well. I mean, <laughs> with the purple snake, the purple serpent wrapping around her, her halberd, it's a nice glossy purple, really nice scale texture. If you take a really good look at the axe head, at where the blade is, the blade of the axe, there is just a very slight weathering, a very slight degradation. I would even call it kind of like oxidation, like, like a little oxidation effect. It just, again, it's just the, att the attention to detail is, uh, is spectacular. She's got a doll face. Like it, it's, got, she's got a really, really cute face. Um, just a slight roundness to it and the pretty much the ever so slight pudginess of the cheeks. This is just a spectacular figure. Definitely the best figure in this haul. I mean, it's kind of kind of unfair. There's it, it, this figure isn't a class of its own, to be honest. So unfair to compare it. It's unfair to compare it to the uh, Petit Riss and even Alice the Gate gate opener since she was released so long ago. This figure is an example of modern figure sculpting techniques. Love how simple her base is. The base is just a nice round disc that doesn't take up too much space. I guess they're taking consideration how much space the axe already takes up so they're not going to take up any more shelf real estate as they've already probably done with the axe head. Um, but it's nice. It does its job. And this is not quite a not safe for work figure, but it does have the ability, like this Rory Mercury's clothes, her skirt does come off. She does have some removable clothes. So, but yeah, you, you can, you can expose her, her, uh, what is that? The garters? Um, her undergarments, those can be exposed. So, um, for the more, uh, cultured individuals, that option is open to you. Uh. And now here is the talk about the scale of Rory Mercury. Um, although Alice is a one eighth scale and Rory is a one seventh scale, they don't look that strange next to each other. It's it's still obvious that um, that Rory is taller than Alice, but I feel like the the scale between them isn't too drastic um, at least from my perspective and on top of that i i feel like their their character designs kind of complement each other being you know hot topic-esque lolly um anime girls so <laughs> uh i i i really had to buy them together and I'll probably be displaying them on a shelf together as well. And with that, that's the end of my review. I, I am very grateful to have passed 200 subscribers in the past few weeks. It has been a while since I've been back uh, with vacationing and um, other life events happening. I got very busy. So haven't been putting out as many videos as I usually do, but um, y'all are amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get past 200 
to be completely honest with y'all. So I appreciate the hell out of everyone that, you know, took their time to like and subscribe it means a lot to me and for this channel. Um, and I hope to bring you a lot more high quality videos of my <laughs> figure collecting obsession. And with that, please comment, like, and subscribe if you liked what you saw today. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya.